All right, what's up, everybody? It's your boy, Akeen, and I'm here to give you a preview of the Appalachian State Mountaineers for the 2016 college football season. Now, their overall record last season was the best record in um, Sunbelt Conference. They went 11-2 overall, winning the Camilla Bowl last season. And they're looking to win the Sunbelt Conference this upcoming year. Last season, they placed second overall to Arkansas State. They had that one loss against the Red Wolves. Now, this season, they don't have to deal with the Red Wolves, but they still have a tough schedule ahead of them. And I will talk about that a little later. Now, first, let's talk about their team. Offensively, they do have to return a quarterback, Taylor Lamb, who did a great job job offensively in spreading the football around and throwing. He did pass for 31 touchdown passes to 9 interceptions and just over 2,300 yards passing to go along with over 400 yards on the ground with 5 rushing touchdowns. He was an honorable mention all-conference play last season and I think he would definitely make first or uh, first or second team this season. And they do have the return of running back Marcus Cox who led the team with 1,423 yards on the ground with 5.9 yards per carry. Now, they did, ha they, they were going to have to play without a couple of key players on the offensive line with Jesse Chapman and Devontae Harris. They're actually out. They were seniors last season, and they will have to play without the top receivers in Malachi Jones and Sims uh, McElfresh, but um, um, Shaden um, Meaders, um, Meaders is definitely going to have to step it up this season, as well as Barrett Burns, who was an honorable mention conference play at, um, at tight end. He did lead the team with eight touchdown receptions, showing that he's a big-time red zone threat. He was a key target for uh, Taylor Lamb to throw to, to in the red zone. Now, on the defensive unit, there is one player that I do like, and that is linebacker Eric Box, who had 78 tackles and three interceptions last season, garnering all-conference honors at the end of the season. Now, taking a look at their schedule, they have first have to deal with on September 1st against Tennessee Volunteers. That is going to be a scary matchup to start off the season with September, 20, September 17th. They have to face with the U, Miami Hurricanes. That's going to be another scare in non-conference play. When you get into conference play on October the 1st, um, their first big game in conference play against Georgia State, that team has a good offense with uh, Arch Buckle, who was uh, the player of the year last season. And uh, October 27th against Georgia Southern, that is going to be indications as well. Now, the race, I believe, is going to be between Arkansas State, Appalachian State, Georgia Southern, and Georgia State, and who will win the Sunbelt Conference. I think this is going to be a tight race this season, and I really think that Appalachian State has a clear chance of winning it all this year. The, if taking a look at their schedule, I definitely do see them losing to both Miami and Tennessee, but I actually believe that they will get one loss, another loss in conference play between the Georgia State and Georgia Southern game, but if taking a look at their overall record, I think they're going to go 9-3 and three this season and just and probably get a share, clinch a share of conference title. I'm still actually debating this this upcoming coming season. Now, the next time to catch you guys from being just a couple of minutes, I have uh, nine more blogs for today. Thank you for watching this blog. I'm your man, Akeem McCall. Be easy.